Yeah, no, I mean, just total focus on everything he had and every little bit of energy he had. And you see it at the end of the at the end of the race when he got out of the car. So, um, yeah, he he did everything. He willed us to a win today. So, um, you know, disappointed and uh, kind of uh, embarrassed on how the car was for him today. But um, team stuck with it, and and we're got a shot next week. So, um, a little bit somber right now, and um, but still excited. So kind of bittersweet on the day. I just have to. Uh, We'll get through it quick and get ready for Phoenix. How easy is it for you personally to, to put that behind, put this kind of day behind you with such a big day next weekend? Uh, I, I told Chad that this, I mean, this is kind of our, we've had plenty of these days. Uh, we're, we're not, we haven't been great on short tracks this year, the Richmonds and the Martinsvilles. And, you know, so we, we've had plenty of uh, bad days and, and the next week we've been be, been good. So uh, if there's anything that's ready for it, it's this one. How stressful is a day like today from atop the pit box? <laughs> It doesn't get any more stressful than that. You know, you can't do nothing um, for these long runs, you know, and and you got to work on the car, and it's super hard to pass, even when you get the car better. So we got the car better, and we were able to hold position, maybe pick up a couple spots here or there. But um, you're not gonna, you make it perfect. It, it, we are not, we were not good enough to ever drive through the field, and there was a couple guys that were good enough to drive through. You know, was it 12 drove through, and then uh, the, the 11 drove through pretty decent, but still, it, as good as they were. Uh, it's just tough. So, yeah, it's uh, very stressful. He, he kind of had a feeling yesterday that things weren't right, and he was pretty quiet, short answers. He just knew, and when he sat up there, he said, I, I just had this feeling in my gut. And when a driver has that, what, you know, what can you do for him just to get him over the hook? Yeah, I mean, we're just we're trying to do everything we can in the car from yesterday to today to give him something we can work with. Um, and put as much adjustability in the car, and we we did a decent job of that because we got the car better. So, um, you know, heads up to our engineer Brandon for helping us do that. But uh, just trying to keep William in the game. So when you get him some track position, let him know that nobody's passing. And you know, the 19 is a perfect example. He never passed us all day, and he was good enough to run in the top three until he lost his track position. So um, you're just trying to keep his head in the game. William credited you with uh, pushing the right buttons to try to keep him in. And, uh, I mean, how much of that is did you have to rely on motion, motivational speaker, coach, whatever it was? I just – we're doing everything we can to fight and uh, just let them know I'm behind them. I don't know that I did anything special or said anything special. Just let them know that we're uh, we're 100 percent behind them and we're, we're with them no matter what. He said his vision was kind of blurry there at the end of the – I guess the heat was getting to him. Uh, how, how aware of you were – how aware were you of, of the problems he was kind of dealing with? Yeah, this race is terrible. Uh, it's, it's super – as hot as it is – but the cars are really, really hot inside, um, you know, and we're just struck with the way uh, the cars, the cockpits are closed up. It's um, uh, some of these longer races, a place like this is tough on the drivers. So uh, just just uh, we kind of knew it would be a struggle this week and we did everything we could for him and, and glad he was able to pull through to the end. Thank you so much. Good luck next week. This is Austin Dillon, driver of the Bass Pro Shop Chevrolet. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also check out one of those two videos beside me. Visit frontstretch.com for more racing content.